What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and today I'm going to show you how to create that Logan Paul look. Um, he doesn't really have one look in particular, but in general I found one look that he uses on most of his pictures. So I thought we'll just go with it and call this the Logan Paul look and I'm assuming that's the one you requested. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. So it will be totally free. But I've also created a preset on exactly this Logan Paul inspired look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets and I'm adding presets on a weekly basis. So for the ones of you who already have the pack, it's online now. Go ahead and download your Logan Paul preset for everyone else. Uh, check out the preset pack. It's on my website. As I said, link under this video. It's a pretty good deal. So I recommend to check it out. And if you haven't already, I'd be super happy if I get your subscription and you hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials. Now, if there's anything that you need from me, any look that you've been trying to figure out lately, just DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. I'll try to reply as fast as I can and I will help you to create that preset, either explain it or even make a tutorial about it next. So feel free to DM me or just comment under this video. I've said enough, let's jump right into the tutorial. The first thing you will need, of course, is your smartphone and then I want you to open up that Lightroom app. In this case, I'm choosing this picture of Logan and his brother Jake. And the first thing you want to do is in the lights tab, go to curve on the upper right. And then I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is right here. So just pull down the midtones a little bit by pulling that middle point a little bit to the right and on slightly down. So it will just darken the image a little bit and then just smoothen it out and create that curve to the bottom right side a little bit. And once you have this copied, your image should go from this as it was before to this right here. And then we are done with the curve. So what you want to do is just increase the contrast to about plus 48 in this case. And the highlights, we want to pull those down to negative 25 right here and boost up the shadows to plus 30 one in this case and the whites we want to pull down again to negative 31 and the blacks we want to pull down to negative 34 is perfect so once you have this we're done with the lights we go over to the colors tab and here I want you to boost the temperature a little bit to plus 9 and pull down the tint to around negative 14 and then pull down the saturation all the way to negative 54 in this case then we scroll up hit the color mix and now we want to take a look at the tones separately so for the red tones we just want to boost the hue to around plus 42 leave the saturation and luminance at zero and go over to the orange tones here I want you to pull down the hue to negative 4 and boost the saturation up to plus 70, 77 and pull down the luminance to negative 21 right here. Now we go over to the yellow tones and here I want you to pull down the hue to negative 25 in this case, boost the saturation to plus 50 and leave the luminance at zero, go over to the green tones, boost the hue all the way up to plus 70 one or 72 in this case and boost the saturation up to plus 57 right here and leave the luminance at zero also the aqua tones we're not going to change anything we're going to leave everything at zero and for the blue tones i just want you to boost the saturation to plus 17 in this case and for the purple tones we want to pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100 the pink tones as well pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100 now the next thing once we're done here is the effects panel down here and what you want to do is just pull down the texture a little bit to around negative 16 and boost the clarity all the way up to plus 60 plus 60 is perfect now dehaze to around plus 
11 and then we're done with the effects we scroll up hit the split toning and now we're almost done but we're just gonna get the colors right um, exactly on point so for the highlights we want to pull over to a hue of around 200 and 20 230 is good and a saturation of 20 27 right here is perfect so it's 233 and 27 and for the shadows we want to pull over to a hue of around 234 as well right here and a saturation of 24 right here so it's 233 and 24 that works perfectly and we are done here and that's it guys this is the logan paul inspired look here's a little before and after for you and i think we really nailed this one um, keeping in mind that he's using high quality cameras and we're just using our smartphone and the free lightroom app i think we came super close to the look i'm happy with the tutorial hope you are too hope this is good content and once again i've created a preset on exactly this logan paul inspired look if you don't want to toggle along to the whole tutorial it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets that you can just easily paste to your pictures to make them look great for all of you who have this all presets pack already um, this preset is in your link for you for free now so this is a pretty good deal because I'm updating those uh, packs weekly and you're getting free filters every week once you have the pack so check that out and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials and if there's anything that you need from me anything that I can take a look at for you next figure out how to create for you next in terms of Lightroom editing just DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle or you can also always just comment under this video I'm super happy to hear from you hope you're safe hope you're healthy and I hope it stays that way thanks so much for watching see you in the next tutorial peace